October 27, 2018, a mass shooting occurred at a Jewish synagogue called the Tree of Life in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We begin this hour with the breaking news out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is where police SWAT teams have swarmed an area around the Tree of Life Synagogue. This is a temple where there were reports of an active shooter, also reports of numerous fatalities. This shooting, like all of the other orchestrated events, contains a deeper spiritual message within. We are actually being shown a representation of the synagogue of Satan. And by that, I do not mean the so-called Jewish people. I mean a temple which is indwelt by the spirit of Antichrist. Allow me to explain. 46-year-old Robert Bowers was identified as the shooter. The number 46 is extremely important in regards to the temple. In John chapter 2, verse 19 through 21, we find this. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. The scriptures are filled with allegory and symbolism. Usually, there is a physical representation of something, and conjoined with that is the supernatural, spiritual reality which runs parallel to its physical counterpart. This is clearly demonstrated in Messiah's comparison of his body with the temple and even the Jews' connection of the number 46 with it as well. That's because in the human body, cells normally contain 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46. These 46 chromosomes carry the genetic information that is passed from parent to child through heredity. It is the very detail of this genetic material in the DNA that makes people totally unique. The number 46 represents the building blocks of the human body. Therefore, it is no coincidence that it took the Jewish people 46 years to build the temple. Messiah revealed the genetic makeup of DNA in his very statement 2,000 years ago. When we break down the meaning of the shooter's name, we discover who is dwelling inside of his temple. Robert means fame or famous and bright, which is a reference to Lucifer. It should be noted that the word fame comes from blasphemy, which means to desecrate and make profane that which is sacred and holy to God. In this case, the temple of his body is a profane thing. Bowers means dwelling, inner room, also of Germanic origin, related to Bower, which means birdcage. This is very interesting since Revelation 18.2 declares, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. This verse is speaking of the existence of demonic possession when it refers to the habitation of devils, the hold of foul spirits, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird within Babylon. Babylon comes from Babel, which means confusion. We know that God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. 1 Corinthians 14.33 Interestingly enough, the word churches is ecclesia, which means a place of assembly, 
as in a church or Jewish synagogue. Therefore, when we look at the name Robert Bowers, which means the famous bright one dwelling in the inner room or birdcage, we can deduce that he is being used symbolically to represent Lucifer, the light bearer, dwelling inside of a human body, a temple, place of assembly, or synagogue. The comparison of a birdcage as it pertains to the human body is a reference to the chest which contains the rib cage, which houses the heart and lungs. It should be noted that the Holy Spirit is represented as a dove. We know that the Most High blew the breath of life into man to make him a living being. This is found in Genesis 2, 7, which declares, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. In Greek, the word for breath or spirit and soul is pneuma. This is why the inflammation of the air sacs in the lungs is called pneumonia. The lungs which hold the breath of the body relate to the spirit and soul which dwells inside of our human body which is a temple or tabernacle. Inside the temple, there is the inner room or holy of holies. Hebrews 9.3 declares, And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. This is the place where the Spirit of God dwells. Exodus 40, 34 tells us, Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. The human body is a temple, and those who follow the Most High are the temple of God. This assertion is supported by Scripture. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 declares, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. It is important to note then that those who do not have the Spirit of God dwelling within them are haunts of demons. Luke 11, 24 through 26 declares, When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest, and finding none, he saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. The shooting at the Jewish synagogue occurred on October 27th, only four days before Halloween, which features haunted houses or synagogues of Satan. Interestingly enough, the human heart has four inner chambers or secret rooms. In like manner, the word heart in Greek is cardia, and it means the heart which is the center of circulation of the blood. This is why a heart attack is called cardiac arrest. Cardia also denotes the center of all physical and spiritual life as it represents the soul or mind, as it is the fountain and seat of the thoughts, passions, desires, appetites, affections, purposes, and endeavors. This is the seat of the soul which is affected and stirred in a good or bad way. This is where human sensibilities, emotions, and actions derive. Remember the connection of the heart and the seat of the soul for human emotions and actions as we will come back to this in a moment. 
Messiah made it clear that the design of the holy temple or tabernacle was allegorical in nature as it represents the human body. Within the holy temple is the inner room or holy of holies where the high priest of the Levites would enter in once a year to offer sacrifice as atonement for sins on the day of atonement. This can be found in Leviticus chapter 16. However, we know that Messiah, the true high priest, entered into the Holy of Holies as well. Hebrews 9.12 declares, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Scripture tells us about the contents of the holy place in Exodus 26, 34. And thou shalt put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. The seat of mercy and the ark of the testimony are both located in the holy of holies. The ark of the testimony contained the Ten Commandments which were given to Moses. Exodus 25, 16 declares, And thou shalt put into the ark the testimony which I shall give thee. The word for ark here is Strong's H727, Aaron, and it means chest. As we discussed earlier, the heart and lungs are found in the chest. We as believers have the testimony or law of God written upon our hearts. Proverbs 7, 2 through 3 declares, Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. We also have the testimony or witness of Messiah written in our hearts as well, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9. This signifies that within the human body can be found a secret place, an inner room or holy of holies, which houses the seat of the soul. This is where our conscience, which is the inner feeling or voice, which acts as a guide to the rightness or wrongness of our behavior, can be found. This is also the reason why Hebrews 9 verse 14 declares, How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. This can be compared with the mercy seat above the Ark of the Covenant sitting between two cherubims. The two cherubs or angels sitting on both ends of the mercy seat on top of the Ark of the Covenant are represented by the two angels, one good and one bad sitting on the shoulders of a person with the head or mercy seat in between which is our mind soul or conscience which houses our thoughts feelings passions and our heart which has the law of god written upon it remember we spoke about this earlier the mercy seat or mind which is the seat of thought sits atop of the chest or ark where the heart or inner chamber slash holy of holies and lungs which hold the pneuma breath or spirit of God the Holy Spirit of the Most High dwells in our inner room however those who worship Satan are possessed by his spirit this connects to the tree of life in that those who are rooted in Christ who is the ultimate tree of life, will sprout forth, blossom, and produce the fruit of the Spirit. Proverbs 11.30 declares, 
The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. John 15.5 declares, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Also, Matthew 7, 16 through 20 declares, Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Therefore, by his actions, we can be sure that the name Robert Bowers, which means the famous bright one, is dwelling in the inner room, signifies possession by Lucifer, the light bearer. Or bright one. Bowers was charged with 11 counts of criminal homicide, 6 counts of aggravated assault, and 13 counts of ethnic intimidation. In total, the indictment charged Bowers with 44 counts, including hate crimes. The mention of hate crimes in this incident is meant to represent the polar opposite of the orchestrated examples of brotherly love we've been shown through media propaganda this year. Kanye West was used to represent this brotherly love during his TMZ rant in his meeting with Donald Trump. I love you and I want to give you a hug. I feel like you want to fight me right now, but I love you. I love you, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you with my words, bro. Yeah, bro. I love you, bro. Bro, I'm, I'm standing in that spot. I love this guy right here. Let me give this guy a hug right here. I love this guy right here. Yeah. Meek Mill was used when he rang the Liberty Bell while standing center court at the Philadelphia 76ers game. Philadelphia representing the city of brotherly love. When we look at the numbers connected to this event, we can clearly see the signature occult numerology symbolism which identifies it as another orchestrated event. The shooting occurred at 9.54 a.m. 9.54 in Strong's Concordance is Belzebub, which means Lord of the House, a name of Satan, the Prince of Evil Spirits, being the ruler of the house or temple, which is the body. The numbers 11 and 6 give us 11-9 or 9-11 if the 6 is inverted and the numbers reversed. 10-27 equals 19, the number of hijackers on 9-11. Pittsburgh comes from the word pit plus burg. Berg means elevation. Pit is a reference to the bottomless pit of hell. This is the place where the king and angel of the bottomless pit, Abaddon or Apollyon, the destroyer, is elevated or rises from in Revelation 9-11. We know that Barack Obama was stylized as Shiva, the destroyer. The number 13 is significant in that it represents bad luck as in Friday the 13th or the fact that no 13th floor is ever placed in a building. Also in the scriptures the number 13 represents rebellion. 11 plus 6 equals 17 also connecting this mass shooting back to the Stoneman Douglas shooting which killed 17 and injured 17. This shooting, like the Stoneman Douglas shooting, is being used to push the agenda of gun control and eventual confiscation. And, and uh, 
we'll get past this, uh, but you know, it just makes you wonder uh, what has to happen in this country uh, before we start to have some common sense about guns. Uh, I just don't understand why any civilian needs a military weapon. Uh, those weapons are designed to do one thing, kill a lot of people quickly. Congress should restore a ban on military-style assault weapons and a 10-round limit for magazines. It's time for Congress to require a universal background check for anyone trying to buy a gun. People demand a law banning the sale of assault weapons. The people demand we prohibit the sale of high-capacity magazines. The people demand universal background checks. He was charged with 44 counts. This connects him with number 44, Mark Twain's The Mysterious Stranger, Satan, and number 44, Barack. Obama. He is 46 years old and the number 46 connects back to Obama reading Psalm 46 on 9-11 announcing that he is God. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. As a side note, I must also mention that the shooting of Botham Jean in his own apartment by Amber Geiger, which occurred at an apartment complex called Southside, also connects to Obama since he is from the South Side of Chicago. This is also supported by the fact that there is a movie called South Side With You, which is about Barack and Michelle Obama's first date. The name of the synagogue is the Tree of Life. The Tree of Life was originally located in the Garden of Eden. When the serpent beguiled Adam and Eve and seduced them into taking and eating from the Tree of Knowledge, God expelled them out of the Garden of Eden to prevent them from eating from the Tree of Life. Ultimately, we know that Yehoshua is the tree of life since he was hanged on a tree acts 530 and his death and resurrection offers all who believe on him the gift of eternal life this shooting was orchestrated to occur on the first day of early voting we know that on september 7th obama made his foray back into politics when he gave a speech blasting Trump and declaring that we don't need a messiah. We cannot sit back and wait for a savior. We don't need a messiah. 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 First John 2, 22 and 23 declares, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son, hath the Father also. I must also mention that on October 26, just one day before the shooting, a man from Aventura, Florida, was arrested for sending bombs to Obama. Hillary Clinton, CNN, and other high-profile Democrats. The name Aventura means to arrive. All of these things signal the arrival of the Antichrist, the haunted house, the true synagogue of Satan, the man who is possessed by Lucifer himself on the world stage. If you have not surrendered your life to the Most High God, Yahweh, by accepting Yahushua HaMashiach as your Savior and Redeemer, the time to do so is now. Amen. Shalom.